Day here at CES 2020 with Jeff with Segway. And uh, this is so exciting, Jeff, because uh, people are still getting things ready to go for the start of the show. And Segway, uh, you guys have some really cool stuff that you want to unveil to the public. Tell us about what Absolutely. you got. Absolutely. So this year from Segway, we are introducing uh, you know multiple products. Uh, two of them got awarded with CES Innovation Awards honoree status. And one of the most kind of the buzzworthy product is this guy over here. This is the Segway S Pod. This is the first class transporting pod uh, made for everyone. So explain that, yeah, made for everyone. How, what do you mean by that? So the kind of the use cases that we are seeing for this pod is that people can use it for enclosed campuses. This is still a concept model, but essentially, you know, you will see it in shopping malls, you will see it in airport. It basically, you know, uh, applying to Segway's vision, we want to simplify the moving of objects and people. So it gives people, you know, a very comfortable experience, you know, riding around from A to B. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and here behind us, we're talking about a couple different things too. Uh, tell us what's here. So here, uh, you're seeing here is a Nibot e-scooter. So this scooter, uh, we have five different models that basically fully electric and it has a, a smart airlock system where you know, people don't need to use a, a key. Mm -hmm. It's a keyless. So when you go on there, you sit on there, it's basically unlocked, ready for you to go. So depending on the ranges, it has five, five different models. And then the biggest one, you can go up to, let's say 70, 80 miles range in total, one single charge. And you also have a very big compartment and that is very, very suitable for, you know, city commuting. Okay, and, and over behind here, us, also yeah. have a Nibot uh, e-moped. So this emo pad is more suitable for, you know, a mid-term to long-term kind of ranges, you know, transportation. It has like a front uh, a seat where, you know, people it essentially can sit two people mm -hmm. and uh, it's, um, it also has a moped. So you can ride it as a moped, a bicycle, and you also can ride it like a scooter. And so overall, Jeff, you know, we talk a lot about on uh, Tech Republic and, and ZDNet, write a lot about smart cities and what's to come and what things will look like down the road for all of us uh, as we move within our cities. So talk about how this fits into smart cities. Segway right now, we are really focusing ourselves as the, the leader in, you know, short distance transportation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for the uh, future of smart city, we are really seeing, you know, it can go with, you know, multiple different types of vehicles beyond just big scooters. So, uh, for example, the s is a good example of how we want to showcase how, you know, people can potentially in the future, you know, uh, traveling through this kind of pod. And the top speed for the Segway s pod go up to uh, 24 miles per hour. And so it's pretty, pretty fast. And uh, um, also for the fully electric, eco-friendly, you know, e-scooters and e-mopeds to fit different, you know, uh, consumers needs so that, you know, they get, get to travel, you know, in the city's environment, regardless of the size, small, big, they will be able to fit their needs other than cake scooters. So this year, we are also launching two brand new cake scooters. One of them is the Segway uh, Nibot Kick Scooter Air T15. It is the most compact and lightweight kick scooters that we have ever launched. And the other one is a Segway uh, Kick Scooter T60. Mm -hmm. And so for the Segway Kick Scooter T60, it is a three-wheeled uh, kick scooter that has a reverse uh, a trike chess a kind of a, a setup where um, you can just go on there and it is ready to go. And it has, we call it a robo scooter. So it, it, with the sharing model, it, it has the features that you know can be for the operators to you know use the cloud management system to dispatch, to control, and to you know control the kind of the logistics of the overall uh, dispatching for the operators. Yeah, and that's one thing too, cloud. We talk a lot about that on Tech Republic and ZDNet again. So uh, th there's a lot of cloud involvement with what's to come too for Segway. Absolutely. So I think, like I mean, uh, we uh, as a company we really try to work with our partners to fit their needs, uh, regardless of the business size, being small business owners or bigger business owners. We want to, you know, provide solutions that can really help, um, you know, the future of the smart cities to become more greener, mm -hmm. uh, to become, you know, cleaner, and also become more time efficient. All right, very good, Jeff. Well, we certainly appreciate you talking with us here, and uh, so much more to come from CES 2020 that we'll have for you on Tech Republic and ZDNet.